Hey, what's happening guys? Just a quick video today, some follow-up and answering some questions regarding our op-amp Schmidt trigger multi-vibrator. So, uh, first of all, I was uh, amiss in not giving you guys the values for these resistors. So, first of all, our, our feedback resistor is 50K. Actually, it's uh, 47K, but you know, that's the value. R1 is also 47K and R2 is 20K. The capacitor is 0.1 microfarad. Now, somebody also asked, how does the op amp change the saw wave into the square wave? Well, it doesn't. The op amp works as a simple analog comparator. It compares the voltage on the non-inverting and the inverting inputs, and it gives us either a positive or a negative. Basically, in this time, in, in this, <laughs> can't speak again. In this case, on or off, a higher low value based on our V ref. But because the op amp is very sensitive right around V ref, the output can switch almost uncontrollably which is why we use the Schmidt trigger which is this voltage divider here between R1 and R2 uh, the value of, of V ref when, when <laughs> I can't talk again when positive V sat or negative V sat or the value near V ref so what we use is a closed loop Schmidt trigger to make things out now the timing is based of course on the charge rate of this capacitor charge and discharge and you've seen from uh, previous videos and uh, elsewhere if you're into electronics that a capacitor charges and discharges producing a sawtooth wave and the op amp is just what it says it's an amplifier so without our Schmidt trigger what would happen is we would just get a greater intensity of that sawtooth discharge so the Schmidt trigger, these two guys right here, give us two things. One, two. The first is they convert the wave from the sawtooth to the square wave. Because basically what they're doing is they're taking the analog op amp and making it a digital comparator. So the op amp can make that a sinusoidal wave or this, uh, the sawtooth wave. But we use the Schmidt trigger to transfer transform this into a digital signal well you know the difference between analog and digital is analog can be any voltage the digital is either on or off in this case it swings almost between the rails of plus nine volts and negative nine volts and it also gives us the hysteresis that we need that allows us to kind of smooth out that change of state right around V ref and we figure out our hysteresis which is our positive V ref minus our negative V ref and that's what's happening here at this voltage divider our positive V ref would be the high voltage and our negative V ref would be the low voltage now another thing we could do would be to change one of these two resistors into a potentiometer and this would allow us to adjust our feedback percentage so we could change from the analog wave to the square wave anywhere between about 0 and 90 degrees phase within there. I hope that cleared a couple of your questions up. If you have more, keep asking and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Now, someone else asked, what would it sound like? Well, at 100 and, what was it, 140 some hertz? Hang on, let me get, let me get my uh, function generator We'll hook it up to a speaker, and we'll take a listen to some different waves. Okay, I have the function generator set up for 148 hertz, 4 volts peak to peak, and it's a sine wave, which you can see there on the screen. Now, if I bring up the speaker for you guys to hear, there's the sound of a sine wave. Now, if we switch the waveform,
there's a triangle wave. Stair step trying But basically, there's our sign. And triangle waves. Each one has a very distinct and different sound. So now you know about how we can change um, the phase. You can also change the capacitor, which would allow you to change the frequencies. And you've heard what the different sounds sound like. Again, I hope this answered some of your questions. Um, if you have more, ask them. I'll, I'll answer them in the comments section. This is going to be the last video I do on this. I don't want to bore you guys too much. But thanks for asking. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. And big thanks to you guys for asking the questions, being involved. I like that. I like you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.